Welcome to this, this week's Legislative Update. I'm Jim Baumgart, and uh, co-host is Nanette Bullabash and, uh, from Elkhart Lake. Yes. And uh, we have a program we think uh, you'll really enjoy. It's a continuation from last week dealing with the Maywood Environmental Park, and we've been blessed by having the uh, park director, uh, Dave Kitcock, uh, to come and explain some of the things available for the public because it is a uh, park that's open and available and uh, most things are either uh, inexpensive or free um, and people like that in the German community <laughs> that's frugal, right? Welcome, David. Welcome to the program. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Well, you've been out at Maywood a long time. Oh my gosh, yeah. 1987 I started working there. So mm -hmm. it's Wow. They have a variety of programs. Uh, they'll look at stars at night. Uh, uh, they'll have uh, uh, the, the major bike out in, in the fall of the year where what do you get about 500 people 400 yeah, people yeah it's a big it's a big event that's for sure so. R raises some money for for maywood mm -hmm. and gives people a chance to get out and see the wonders of the kettle marine and uh, the back uh, farmland of uh, Sheboygan county yeah there's lots to do and uh, now that we're starting to get that warmer weather and swing into more late spring and summer i'm really excited because there's all kinds of great changes that are happening and you mentioned astronomy and we have the Sheboygan Astronomical Society right. that does free programs um, usually throughout the summer months, once, once a month. They come out and they set up their monstrously large telescopes and focus on all of the wonders of the heavens and people can just step right up and see And they see think they're worth the thousands oh, and thousands gosh. of dollars. Yeah, yeah. Then they think, oh, yeah, just some, of them, some of them, they come equipped so that the uh, telescope is connected to a laptop computer and it, the scope tracks the, sky, the stars across the sky. Oh, and, oh, they, they they're, awesome. and they're so willing to share their equipment and let people take a look, so that's fantastic. I will be openly biased. Maywood is a local treasure. It is just a, a wonderful place. And what makes it strong are staff, people like you who've been there, who share your passion for nature, but also your volunteers. How many volunteers would you oh, say are gosh. involved with your oh, place? Oh, that, Committee that, members that's, and that's people a who really come in, tough, lead programs, yes, yes. take people on walks, lead camps. I mean, it's just pretty amazing. Yeah, there are just there's, literally, there's like literally hundreds, hundreds of volunteers. I know for the bike ride that Jim had referenced a few minutes ago, that event in itself requires up to 200 volunteers for that one event. Yeah. So um, throughout the entire year, oh my gosh, it, it would be really tough for well, me to get Well, on that bike out, and you, you got to uh, map the area. You've got to have people out there with walkie-talkies or you know, communication. Uh, you've got uh, uh, emergency uh, vehicles nearby and uh, everything. Yeah, right, to make sure it's And safe. food along the way. Food. See, you're yeah. Sheboygan County. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's, no that's exactly right. It wouldn't operate without no, food. No, no, there would be food. It is the, it's the one time I tell people that here's an opportunity. You can, you can do a 12 mile route if you want to, or a 112 mile route. But regardless, if you did the 112 mile route, I can almost guarantee you're going to weigh more when you finish than when you start. <laughs> there's food you everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great. So tell us, we, we know summer's coming up. Um, tell us about the exciting things happening this summer. I, I just brought some notes along because I know that this summer with our summer camp programs, there are some exciting titles that they have for these camps, such as Off the Grid Camp and Capture the Flag Untamed Camp and, mm -hmm. and uh, Untamed. the, the Quarry Quest Camp and Tinker Lab and Archaeology Camp. There's so many great programs that are being offered, and that is through the, uh, the partnership that we have with Camp Waikota. So it's From a, kids as young as what to how old? Yeah, so we have, actually we have a camp where, where we have um, really young kids where e parents can e come e out. Eagle Buds, they call them. Well, even before that, we oh, have the five and, five and six-year-old for the Eagle Buds, but then there's a parent and child program oh, there? for the even younger kids that can oh, come out. Oh, that's great. And then, of course, the camps go all the way up to 14 years old. So um, it, it's, there's lots of opportunities for kids. Well, they, one of those programs uh, that goes from about 8, 8.30 to 4 or whatever it is, and you know, they, they can go home in the evening except if they stay on an overnighter. But uh, one of those programs is capture the flag. All they do is chase flags yeah, down they, they, they and, set up and swim they all week long. And they long. swim at the quarry. Swim all week street. long, yep. So uh, parents, if you're trying to exhaust your kids, this is your opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> They'll sleep good at night, I'm sure of that. Yeah. Well, and we're, we're sitting in front of this great display that features your partnership with Camp Waikota, mm -hmm. features kids outdoors, winter, summer, playing on playgrounds, 
um, holding tools, archery, and and I would hope it would be obvious, but I do know that that children less and less are spending time outdoors. I, That's they're yeah, in front of their t they're in front of their screen that they can hold right. in their hand. And Jim had asked, you know, how long I had been at Maywood, and starting there in 1987 to now, I've noticed a tremendous difference in the shift of our kids from that point until this point. Really? And there's very few stu students or kids that come out that are familiar with a lot of the things that kids were familiar with that were very obvious back in 1987. Like such as what? Oh, things as simple as, as going out and discovering what's under a log. Or, really? Yes, or sitting oh, on no. the grass. We've had kids that, I don't sit on grass. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, oh, it's mind blowing. Um, and, wow. and holding a butterfly, um, mm -hmm. that's something foreign to a lot of kids. So it's that, that screen time has taken a lot of those sensory, sensory um, type of uh, activities away, and, and uh, so they just need and to get back out And why is that important? If, if, you really, if some parent really didn't understand wh why you need to get a child outside, why, why would you, what would you tell well, them? Well, here's why it's important. We have to have students or kids become adults that are concerned and are care about our planet. Mm -hmm. uh, if we continue on the road that we're going without having any care or compassion towards our planet, well, we're just going to consume all of our resources and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we, we can't afford to do that. We have to take care of what's been given to us. Well, and you want people that uh, realize that defending uh, uh, the environment is important. We just had the legislature initially introduce legislation that would have disbanded uh, uh, 200,000 acres of isolated wetlands because they said isolated means they're not very good, which is just the opposite. Right, they're very, they very good. Uh, and they ended up uh, um, uh, getting rid of uh, or making uh, 100,000 acres vulnerable, uh, including 2,150 acres of wetlands in Sheboygan County mm -hmm. that now can be filled in with less or no work at all. And so you need people to say, no, no, this is going to cause flooding. This is going to cause deaths of, of turtles and, and uh, ducks. And if you want to hunt ducks, you, right. you won't be able to do that. And so they need a, an ethic. But on the, and on the opposite side of it, Jim, uh, when, we started, when I started in 1987, we immediately began to do a lot of restoration at the park. So we restored wetlands. Mm -hmm. We planted literally thousands upon thousands of trees. Mm -hmm. Since that time, we've seen wildlife that that was not there before come back. So mm -hmm. the great blue herons coming back, sandhill cranes coming back, greenback herons coming back, otters, mink, all those critters are now there at Maywood that were not there 30 years ago. And so that's all from our efforts of trying and to if, restore. if somebody didn't have a, a, a land ethic, uh, that wouldn't have taken place. That's right, that's right. And so we need to make sure the kids uh, come out to these uh, parks and uh, learn so they can instruct their parents on how important this is. You've Absolutely. got, you've got some uh, summer camp programs coming up and fall programs. And this fall, this, yeah, is, this, this fall. is new, right? Oh, A preschool this, nature this is, program yes, for that, children. That fall program is really, really exciting. Wow. We are trying to reach a much younger audience and tap into all of the four-year-old kids that are out there before they have a chance to get sucked into a screen someplace yeah. and spend all their time in front of a computer. So we're starting this nature-based preschool where we're gonna be taking the kids outside all year long. So even in the wintertime, we'll be outside mm -hmm. and we'll be showing them all of the, the wonders that can be experienced outdoors. And uh, to help them, of course, as they, as they say in, in my field, um, there is no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. <laughs> We, we, are equipping our, we are, are equipping our kids with some really Good. fantastic things. We've got some, some great Gore-Tex suits that they'll be able to wear so that they don't have to worry about getting muddy or wet. Oh, that's, that's uh, And awesome. they can still be outside even on some of those days when most people would say, no, 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 it's so too wet. So they get all wet, wet and sloppy no, and full of mud. And they love it. Them. I'll they just hose them off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hose them down. Yeah. There you go. That's terrific. <laughs> that's, I just, and, and, and these are real like education-based curriculum as well. Yes, Not absolutely. Montessori. Absolutely. And um, just letting children discover nature. Right. Different Hands schools. On. Private schools. This, uh, these are all going to be the same kids every day, so it's not different schools. Okay. So parents will enroll their child 
in the program and will have their child for the entire year, exactly. the entire school oh, year. Oh, that is great. They so it gives us a great opportunity to, to really have some impact on the children that attend, getting them to be have that same sort of environmental conscious that I'm hoping to instill on every child that comes through our doors. So if somebody's never been to Maywood, you are on the north side of Sheboygan, just off Miller Road, Correct. off of I, uh, on Miller Road, off Highway 42. Right. What are your hours, and how can people find more about you? So the the building is open from nine to four each day, uh, Monday through Friday, and then again on on Saturday from one to four. However, the grounds are open basically from sun up to sundown, okay. and, um, and and beyond actually. Um, and about ten o'clock, we close down. So it's okay night, if I just drive in and walk around. Absolutely, okay. yeah. We have lots of trails, and we encourage people to go out and explore on their own whenever they want to. They do a the, the local JCs do a great job of grooming our ski trails in the winter time. So. Um, if we do get some snow one of these years, um, <laughs> they could be out there skiing as well. But 135 acres. 135 yeah. acres, yeah, right here in the city of Sheboygan. It's really yeah. incredible. And, okay. and, and people uh, have uh, other things that they can do. They can come to your programs and, Absolutely. and look at the stars. The, the easiest way for people to find out is going to just, if they want to check our website, they, they can should. get all those yes. programs. So www.gomaywood.org is that website. And uh, they can easily check that um, and see what is upcoming because there's every week there's our, there are programs every week. So yeah. they need okay. to come on out and enjoy. So we have a few minutes left. What have, what have we not asked you that you really want to make sure people understand? What's the most important thing people should know about Maywood Environmental Park? That they have a jewel right here in their city. I know that most of us think that if you want to go someplace special, you have to drive right. hundreds and hundreds of miles to find it. And I don't think that that's the case mm -hmm. with Maywood. I think you can go right there. That, mm -hmm. that, is, that is the special place that uh, everybody can get to within minutes, and you can spend hours there. Sure. So it's just a great place to be. Well, I've seen otters along the river, and wow. I've seen uh, great blue herons out there. And, and then, of course, the kids have got pollywogs and other things. That uh, It's just a, uh, an exciting thing, because every time uh, one of those young people sit down by, by the pond or the river. They're going to see something move, and it's exciting. Yeah, they're making a connection there. Sure, That's absolutely. Experiential education, not just taking something in, but hands-on. So, if they have any memorable. questions, they can call Maywood. And uh, by the way, we've just run out of time. I guess we have. It always time. goes so fast. You know, when when you get somebody that you really, really relate to, because you graduated from Stevens Point, and I did, yeah. and. Yeah. Oh. and uh, and Nanette, uh, uh reporter and a farm girl by, by heart. Um, they, these are nice people to gather around, but we have to leave. Thank you for joining us until next week. This has been Legislative Update.